Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for July 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Leo, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out. All right, darling, because uh, I like that's how I keep up with y'all, and I like hearing how y'all are doing. Also, I'll let you in on a secret, Leo. Click the top right-hand corner of your screen right here, and you'll be taken to your monthly tarot reading as well. All right, so when it comes to consuming tarot readings on YouTube, Leo, be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. All right, so that's how you get the most personalized tarot message for yourself is when you cater the energy to your chart. Now, Leo, if you enjoy my vibes for the day, if you enjoy this tarot message, all right, a completely free way to support me is by giving this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, darling. And I'm really appreciative for those that take that extra step to do that for me, Leo. All right, so let's get right into your weekly tarot reading here today, Leo. All right, your first row is going to be talking about your financial and career situation. Your second row, we're going to be tapping into your social life this could be romantic platonic family related you know just your social life all right and then in your third row which is my personal favorite leah we're going to be talking about um tarot messages that you you know just messages that you need to hear at this current point in time all right what if you're trying to get a breakthrough darling third row is for you let's get into this here though we have the king of cups energy uh in the back of the deck for you all right leo i feel as this at this current point in time leo you are at an all-time high when it comes to your emotional maturity here all right i feel like you you i feel as if you feel like you are the adult in the situation in many situations that you are in you are the rock for a lot of other people leo and i don't feel like you fully appreciate or give yourself enough credit for how much of a uh, stabilizing presence you are to other people i don't feel as if you fully realize how respected you are leo from other people all right what it is that you go through and are currently going through through the battles that you are going through that no one will ever know about leo all right they may not know what it is you're going through but they still sense that strength they still sense that fortitude coming in here for you leo all right and when it comes to people that exude that king of cups energy all right a lot of people are very much so easy to misunderstand you leo all right it feels as if a lot of people end up projecting onto you their discomfort so it's just like you come at this from an, an extreme emotional maturity leo and other people are not used to that so they're just like ooh, like why am i feeling threatened by this why am i feeling intimidated leo must be the bad person and when in reality for you leo like you just see things from a level that a lot of other people just don't see them as but when you do find people that understand you as that king of cups leo the connections are priceless you hold those connections deep to uh your heart because of how much they mean to you because you just are just so used to being misunderstood leo all right i feel like for you when it comes to just your relationships when it comes to just everything that you are approaching right now leo it's like you've gone through some type of detoxing experience where it's just like now that you've detoxed you know when people go through detox uh, like fasting and stuff like that initially it's just like only healthy food sounds good to them they don't want that that you know after you eat like a bunch of fresh fruits and stuff like that you don't want the processed stuff anymore and that's what's going on for you leo it's like you know like you you don't want the processed and uh stuff anymore you don't want the processed people you don't want people who are just so deep into the uh what is it that people say it's like deep into the matrix i've literally never said that before someone must this must be someone's lingo that says this because i don't talk about me <laughs> i've never even watched the movie honey all right let's get into this here leo but remember darling this is the energy that is in influencing all three of your rows this week here all right so we're going to be starting into your career and financial situation leo all right starting this off we have the ten of pentacles seven of cups with the death energy here all right leo first thing i want to be noting for you tens represents closures to cycles coming in all right ten of pentacles coming in here you are have finished a chapter when it comes to your career when it comes to your financial situation some of you guys have already have hit the cap is what i'm hearing leo you've done everything that you needed to do with a certain job place or a certain you know you fulfilled your purpose in one way and i feel like for you now leo the main push for you some of you guys have already started getting inspired by this leo but it's like you are being more driven emotionally now to do something else to start experimenting all right you just want to do more all right leo i feel like for my leos that start dipping their toes in different pots all right you're going to be rewarded for it but i think it is still really important for you leo to remember that even when you are 
because it's almost as if the sense where a lot i feel like some leos feel like they can't branch off and do something different than what they've been doing right for some of you you've been going to school for a certain subject but now you're just feeling drawn to do something else entirely different leo you need to honor that uh calling all right i really feel like this is a time of experimentation i feel like you guys have gotten what you can from certain situations and at this point in time it's time to move on for some of you leos you some of you leos you've been working on certain projects for way too long you've been in the research mode for too long been in keeping your head in the books when you need to actually keep your head in the game at this point in time it's time to take action here all right you reach the cap you reach the limit and now it's time to change the approach just you know it's time for that movement darling in your social life here, Leo, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands with the Two of Cups coming in here. I, I'm not going to be surprised here, uh, Leo. This is the sense of someone's going to be... It's like the sense someone wants to propose this idea, Leo, of getting to know you um, on a more personal level here. I see this sense of where for you, Leo, you're attracting a lot of people that just want to learn more from you you have there's a lot of people that want more from you leo and you probably have already even sensed that as well all right but the thing about it is i feel like it's just so draining on your end because again it's like i feel like you struggle a lot leo with really being able to fully relate to other people right I get like this sense, I'm getting like a scenario where it's just like you start engaging with someone, you think they have potential and then they say something and that shows like where their morals are or just where their head is truly at and you're just like, uh, like oh, you're just like the rest of them. All right. That's a message that I get for some of you, Leos. For others of you, there is this, like someone has this, again, still has this strong desire, Leo, where it's just like, and I feel like, again, they're intimidated by you because of just how much what it is that you exude, right? It's the sense of where it's just like, they respect you so much and because either they think little themselves or because they just are so intim intimidated by your power, your potential, Leo, that's what holds them back from doing like anything further, right? But I feel like someone's going to start trying to build up that courage. Knight of Wands energy. It's like that sense of where, you know, the Knight of Wands energy. This is the heart of the spread as well for you as well, Leo. <clears throat> Let me get this situated real quick. <laughs> this Knight of Wands energy is the heart of the spread. And so it's just like the Knight of Wands is the most unpredictable. Where it's just like this person, like whoever this person is, their emotions are going to be getting revealed of what their desires are, good or bad or neutral, right? I'm not here to label it, Leo, for you. But it comes in during moments of just like heightened emotions. So this is like a sense of where it's just like someone you know this sense where it's just like someone's like oh i was i didn't mean it during that time i was just angry i was just emotional or even when they're like drinking it's just like oh those are just drunk feelings i didn't mean it and that no they actually meant it leo it's like a heightened it's like i get the sense for them where it's just like it's during a heightened experience where either you or they would try to dismiss it normally as being like okay it's just like you know the moment was just intense whatever you know excusing it but no there was something of substance in that and you know it. Some of you guys, this is something that happened already. And it's like you haven't been able to really fully itch that scratch because it's just really sat with you. Hmm. Now getting into my favorite row here, Leo. You have the Eight of Swords, High Priestess Energy with this Moon card coming in here. Now, what I want to first, firstly express, first, firstly, come on, Avoka. What I want to firstly express, Leo, is that when I was doing Aries reading just before yours, I had like the strong desire to say your zodiac sign. So if you have either Aries in your chart or if you know an Aries, I just want to suggest you to check that out, darling, because it was pretty, it was pretty interesting. Um, what I want to be saying for you guys here, Leo, is that the reason is you i get this feeling of where some of you guys are feeling stuck currently it's like you're in a complete like if you are thinking the way that you see things leo the way that you feel things is just something that not a lot of people can understand or relate to and it's like you speak one language and you're just in a city or you're just surrounded by people that speak a completely different language and anytime that you try to express yourself it's like people just don't take you seriously and what i want to be telling you here leo is that 
it's not that you are the problem it's just that they are like the people around you just are not thinking big enough it's just the fact that i mean let's just call a spade a spade leo i mean who cares about sounding egotistical darling it's only us uh, i say us as if i have leo in my chart it's only just me and uh y'all leos here uh you know like so who cares but it's like for you leo it's like where you are just currently at you it just is like you are just 10 steps ahead you are just so much more <laughs> i'm really about to be giving y'all the biggest head here aren't i leo but it's like truly y'all are just like thinking so far ahead in the future that other people like they don't think like i don't know it's one of those things where just like people are gonna think you're crazy but you are actually doing such grand things and you need to honor that light because if you continue being around small-minded people that big creative mind of yours is just going to feel more and more suppressed all right leo this is a time that you honestly need to accept the honestly i'm gonna just say it. you need to accept leo the bad bitch that you are give yourself the credit that no one else will deservingly give you because it's like not like it's time to evolve darling it's time to move it's time to go up the social ladder darling you need to start be surrounding yourself with ceos darling you need to start surrounding yourself with other entrepreneurs darling because you're not going to be able to relate to these people that want to work at the post office for the rest of their lives and there's nothing wrong with working at the post office darling but there's a very there's people have different purposes and when you are a creative person when you are have big aspirations and big dreams people who are just okay with working the post office and just wanting that stability just are not going they don't there's different levels of people just see things in different ways different and when i say levels i don't mean there's one that's more above the other right i don't need to explain it you understand leo but it's just that time where it's like you can't you can't you can't be you can't be surrounding yourself it's like i'm being shown like you're around like a bunch of cavemen and you're trying to invent invent the wheel create fire but the cavemen like you're just around cavemen who are just not fully developed in that sense and this is sounds so bad whatever we're gonna just go continue on here leo the leos that understand y'all understand if you listen if you want to take this reading in a completely different kind of way darling you were gonna do that regardless so <laughs> i'm done trying to defend or justify it you either understand my perspective or you don't darling let's start clarifying this leo starting out with your career we're going to be getting into that ten of pentacles seven of cups and death rebirth energy here all right for your career you have the queen of wands i literally said earlier leo some of you guys gonna need to watch this reading a few times honestly I literally said y'all need to cater honor this flame more all right not paying attention to anybody else the dreams the aspirations the goals that you have for your career leo no one else is going to understand it. you got to be the one that celebrates your passion that celebrate celebrates that flame because no one else will eight of cups energy they're how you get into further alignment leo with that queen of wands energy is literally through having to emotionally detach yourself from situations walking away from what no longer serves you page of wands and this is what you're walking towards this new energy new opportunities are going to happen for you leo but you have to be uh you have to not be afraid of changing spaces of leaving things in the past okay clarifying your social life here leo i forgot to check the back of the deck energy but i don't think we really even needed to i don't think i think i said what i needed to say with them social life four swords energy healing time alone here again i get this strong sense leo it's like you are on someone's mind here quite a bit or just people in general like you live in people's minds rent free i feel someone's mind rent free but i don't feel like it's necessarily in a bad way leo i feel like it's the sense of like the sense of like and it may feel weird thinking of yourself in this way but it's like someone's like like fantasizing like that dream life with you with that per with that preferred type of scenario where it's just like someone like someone really wants to be your friend and get to know you more leo truly 
chariot energy they're going to be approaching you here again it's matching up with that knight of wands energy right to a more elevated degree here this chariot all right so i really get this sense of just like emotion heightened emotions during experiences is what pulls this emotion out of this person that they otherwise wouldn't say five of pentacles and then nine of pentacles in the back of the deck spirit's gonna make this happen here they're gonna make the situation the scenario happen for so the truth the real light comes out about what's going on here leo all right the you're gonna you're gonna get that clarity trust the process here but just fully understand leo again even if they don't show it even if they don't express it you are you you really it's like you make a lot of people insecure not from what it is that you do but you make other people insecure because it's like you don't make them insecure leo i take that back it's like you bring out what people already feel insecure about themselves because you are just so in tune with yourself or at least you present that way leo that people that see you they're just like damn i gotta get to that i gotta get to leo's level right so let's get into your third and final row here page of swords coming out four of pentacles seven of wands with the sun energy back of the deck coming out here interesting because it's clarifying the moon energy from this row too very very interesting here leo so page of swords four of pentacles seven of wands here just be careful like watch what it is that you do at this time leo pay attention to what it is that you post on social media there's a lot of watchful eyes people are watching what it is that you're doing what it is that you invest your energy into some people are not liking you talking to new people is something that i want to just say for some of you leos so be careful about who you talk about be careful about who you post about because it's like it's like you post about your friend and just a casual thing and then that sub i see someone just like see, being like oh who's leo hanging out with and then diving deep with that person as well <clears throat> some of you leos you need to be careful with who you involve yourself with because again because of how much power you just exude how much you inspire people some of these people are going to want to get their peace as well so again that it goes back to that sense of like valuing yourself higher leo so you start treating yourself as the valued good that you are so then you're able to understand when why when and why people would try to just be in close proximity f with you and acknowledging that there are certain traits that people want from you or to use you because you have certain desirable things all right because it's it's weird to comprehend that or to accept that leo when you don't give yourself the credit that you're due right so darling leo this is all over the place in some ways and i'm sure i'm gonna have some <laughs> a bunch of uh, well let me not manifest it but i hope my messages reach the people that understand what it was i was trying to say if someone new just came to this reading they're probably gonna think it's like man velka is just so uh uh cynical velka so narcissistic from how i try to gas y'all up and express the messages for y'all and i don't even have leo in my chart whatsoever uh y'all so keep that in mind so it has nothing to do with me i don't even know leo actually no i do i know cynthia hey how are you doing cynthia you'll know if you know anyways leo this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling if you did enjoy this i promise you you'll enjoy the monthly tarot reading that i have for you darling on the top right hand corner of the screen remember leo if you want to book a private reading with me more i would set my website is linked down below simply welcome dot com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level are also linked down there as well simply Velka, same as here but leo i'll connect with you sometime in the near future darling i love you so much darling bye